politicians and political aides are known for using every opportunity to speak their mind without caring who got offended as a result of their comments. On the other hand, citizens also known for criticizing some of the decisions of leaders through any means available to them. In River State, some people were angry a few months ago when the state governor Barry Saizowo yes, some wiki and the indigenous people of Biafra uh, group. His decision to outlaw the group came following the attack on police stations in Oyibo, local government area of the state, and the killing of policemen and soldiers by the suspected IPOP members who allegedly hijacked the ENSAS protests. Governor Wiki had since banned the activities of IPOP in any part of River State. Today, Sunday, one of the aides to the River State Governor, Masha Obuzo, took to his social media page to reaffirm that the state is not part of the at Lord IPOP group. He also said in his post that the group can no longer deny its place as a violent group. His posts have generated some reactions from some of his social media followers who took to the comment section to react to his choice of words. <clears throat> you can imagine. He just went on social media to write what he wrote, not that there was an event that warranted him to have spoken the way he has spoken. He went deliberately on social media to vomit all of the things he said. These are the way these people always cause trouble. Who asked him to do that? Was there anything that warranted or that prompted that a situation for him to have said that I don't understand? I don't understand. No, you aren't telling us that since he has said this, oh, they will not clap for him. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you have done well. You have done noble. This, that is the way they create problem. Well, uncle, there are more serious issues on the front burner of this course, of this course than IPOP issue. It will be too on Christian to present this topic this morning. I don't understand. Like I said, what warranted that he just went on social media to go and put that to do what? To do what? When people start accusing you of what you are saying, you begin to say no. You didn't mean that they will not come and be turning and be saying, "Oh, how can you tell me if you if you if you if you say you don't want Igbo's here, that means you don't want business." I, you know, all this hypocrisy. I don't understand it. Let us ask ourselves questions. He went on social media to write what he wrote, not that something warranted. Not that, uh, like somebody said, it's 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 unreasonable bringing issues that uh, are not even in place in the first place. Well, River State can never be part of the online country called Biafra. Nambekano is a Yahoo boy, and Biafra agitation is is all well simple. Like seriously, no, when. It's not, we all just have to state the obvious. When you talk about the Biafrans, do they look like people who are, they work with their hands? Are they part of this uh, militancy that they say they are giving amnesty? They work with their hands. You see them all over the place. You see them all over the place. I don't know why, I don't know who is thinking that these people have a uh, interest in all this oil. Honestly, if not that uh, the way people are saying something, this is, majority of the people don't even know that uh, they have oil in Southeast. Because they are business-oriented people. They don't wait for all of those things. And that's why you see that majority of those people who are always depending on oil, they are so lazy. They are so lazy. The only thing they know is the allocation coming from the oil. Go and check a business, a, 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 an Igbo person who is rich. Is there, everything about them is business. So I don't understand when you talk about oil. The region who love who love oil, who do this, who can do anything because of oil. You know them. They are, they are not working. What business can you see? That they are engaged in, and you are saying IPOP members they want oil. Unamdekano wants oil. <laughs> I think this person doesn't know what he is talking about. Well, was that why you killed people in Obi Group? They're asking the AD. Me, I don't have time to bring myself low to argue with uh, these people on social media. No, this uh, you say social media. Social media is where this whole thing starts from. It starts from there. Well, you define talk this morning. You define talk this morning. Hmm. Um, I wonder why this inconsequential matter is so important to you this morning. What is saving your job is just because you are weak as in law. Masha, you have zero knowledge of your job. So you have hand in Obigo killings. Good to review yourself. 
noted. Meanwhile, stop dreaming that there is no more IPOP in Obibo. We are coming. Keep calm. <laughs> you lack handwork. The North is crying. I pray South, uh, South won't join them very soon. Well, Masha Obuzo had took to his Twitter page to say at least we can now all agree that River State people are not part of you, part of your Biafra and IPOP. An IPOP can no longer chameleon or deny its place as a violent group. You see? And he said, that's what he said, that at least, at least we can now all agree that River State and people are not part of uh, your Biafra and IPOP can no longer chameleon or deny its place as a violent group. He just went up, just woke up this morning and he didn't see anything to contribute to the to the growth of the nation. The next thing is just start to yarn opata. To me, it's opata because nothing warranted it. Because from what the writer said from the beginning, that said most of these politicians, they are always looking for avenue to make some statements. No, there was no event or whatsoever. He went on his Twitter page. He just went there and began to vomit all of these things. Okay. Well, like a... Uh, uh, Bimbo Sheun said, all this you are talking about, Biafra, are people not ashamed of yourselves? Why can't you just gather all the governors of the eastern region and the traditional chiefs, important personalities in the region and fight for the eastern? So all of you are very happy that uh, northerners are using your resources to develop their region and you are here talking what you don't understand. Look at Kano State, Abuja, Meduguri and many parts of the region. This is not from Eastern mineral resources you are they are using and you are here talking jargons. Well, the simple remedy is to solve all this Biafra is to enter into alliance with West and the North to cut a Igbo to size. You know, a lot of reactions and restrict them within the five Igbo states. <laughs> One Nigeria beggars, incompetent epilepsy being you are doomed forever. Only Igbo will defeat all. You big all of you because one with God is one with majority. Hmm. Are this exactly what spared doom on a Ojuku se Biafra? Conduct a referendum and let's see what happens. Some people do not think very well before they talk. This statement made by this man can be a problem to him forever. He just woke up. I don't know the, the wrong side of the bed. He woke up from and began to yarn all this. This and you know, let the sleeping dog lie. A lot of things that happened. Let the sleeping dog lie. Those who have lied that they didn't have an in all of these things that happened. Let it continue like that. And everything is getting is going down gradually. But somebody just woke up this morning to go and be issuing out this whole thing. So guys, let's say your opinion and let's have your take.